first of all it was my first time fishing for salmon in Norway and it was an amazing experience uh, we met a lot of great people here met a lot of new friends and we found really really beautiful river with some fish and amazing scenery around with mountains and I think that is really really important for me i i like to fish in an environment and with company like that this season is really tough because the rivers are lacking of water and that's why they don't have so many salmons as they do usually when when the water is higher but still there are some uh, fish in the river you can see it sometimes jumping and even if there is not jumping uh, it's a possibility to catch one this was actually my first time here on the Risa and it's my fifth time salmon fishing in general and uh, yeah it was just fantastic to say the least at least uh, we had a really, really great time. The river is phenomenal. The landscape is absolutely amazing. I really fell in love with this place, and yeah, we are, we had some we had some like a really tough start in the beginning, and it turned out to be a really, really good week in the end. And it was yeah, it was just fantastic can't say more to that. We had a, a tough week. Yeah, we were, we were fishing like hell. We come back really late each day because we wanted so much to catch a salmon. We had about five rods with us with different kinds of lines and different setups, different kinds of rods. We were looking forward. We tried so, much, so many flies. The river is very beautiful, clear water, and the lodge is wonderful. Uh, we lived in a small cabin, but the service was wonderful, especially food. It's, the, I think, one Michelin star service. The best expression is, of course, those six hard days of casting, fishing. I caught zero salmon but I got a lot of lessons uh, and I understood many things and I think the guys who are coming next week will have a very good week because the last days of our fishing uh, showed that the fish started coming to the river. The lodge where we stayed is like a, it looked like a troll houses, small wooden houses with some grass on tops and it really is some magical atmosphere here because uh, everything looks like it just grew up from the from from the like from the land. It's Nor Norwegians; they are in really good relationship with the nature, and that that is uh, like that what you feel like spending time here. You have a lot of uh, places for making fire near near the river. Uh, on good beats you always find some fireplace made of uh, rocks. You just sit, make some fire, drink some coffee, then go to fish again. And that's, that's really awesome. That, that, that helps to create the atmosphere. We were fishing uh, like hell all, all week long, uh, getting up early, having breakfast, then heading to the river, uh, eating lunch on the water, then come back for supper and then head back to fish to late, uh, late night to 10, 11 o'clock, even sometimes uh, till midnight. Turio! We had some takes, we had some uh, rises, we had some bites, few fights, but I myself caught only a few sea trout. Uh, I caught uh, my biggest brown trout that looked like a 
that looked like a leopard, uh, really, really nice uh, camouflage on it. And it took the big sunray shadow, like swinging the pool, and it took really hard. I thought that will be a salmon, but uh, it was my record trout this time. What I've learned in this trip that it's it's really crucial to uh, to work as a team if you're fishing with your friends, especially for salmon, and you have to always be calm and precise. So that was uh, that what uh, Austrian uh, guys were doing, and it really looked really nice. They just had few rods and were sharing it. They were moving really, really a lot from pool to pool, and they just uh, sit on the bank, and one of them is fishing. They have a tactics like uh, Auntie uh, told us to do. Like one of them fishes the big sunray, then the other smaller fly, then the third one goes, grabs the rod with a, a sinking uh, polyleader and uh, some, let's say, Francis fly. And they just had a system and were working it day by day. And in the end, they had the really best result. And I think that it, it, it has to be like this. When you work as hard as they do and uh, as precise as they do, the results uh, uh, will always come. Uh, the lesson is you need to wake up earlier because you need to be the first at the pool. Then you need to make uh, very accurate casts because the fish is spooky due to the clear water. And we have residents standing in the river I saw many big fish, starting from 10 kilos and, and, and bigger, but they didn't take. And the fresh uh, salmon was not, just not coming, or we didn't find the right pools, probably the last. Got up at uh, like 7 a.m., we had some breakfast, and right after breakfast we went, we went to the river. And we fished really, really hard. We really worked for that fish, for those fish. Um, we came back really, really late in the evening, like midnight, 2 a.m. also. Uh, but it was well worth the effort. It was, it was really hard work. we had we had to share, we, we were sharing uh, the beats, uh, like we were three people, uh, Bianca, Christian and me. And yeah, we just, we just made a run, then the second one went, then the third one went. We had some coffee, we had some fire. I was standing there looking through the river and thought, yeah, just one time it would be awesome to hook up a really big fish and after the fifth cast the line stopped and I put up the rod and at this moment I was, it was mind-blowing. Christian was throwing some nice loops in the river, it was, it was really really nice and yeah like after, after like five, five or six casts Christian was like fish on. It was nearly 100 and 100 um, 120 meters, we saw the fish down there jumping. It was crazy, it was mind-blowing. The salmon was 
the energy was over, just lying there. Jan looked at him and he grabbed his tail and it was a mind-blowing, it was really mind-blowing time. How when was he... the night? Awesome. <laughs> Today is the day, guys. Awesome. Today is the day. <laughs> yeah, we... We came here on Sunday and actually I was able to catch my first Reese salmon on the first day. So I was really, really happy on the first day already. And then the conditions were a little bit tough. The following days we had, we had nearly no action. We just had only a few takes, but no one, no one stuck to the rod and actually like those two last days, they changed everything. <laughs> hey man, what happened? <laughs> it's Riser. <laughs> man, you rock. Last cast of the fishing trip. And it's, awesome. it's time to celebrate now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now I think we have a little party. <laughs> nice. Nice stuff, guys. Awesome. Was it your biggest fish? It's my second salmon ever. <laughs> At the first with one meter, over 20 pounds. Awesome, <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Made my day today. Yeah, it's you're walking uh, above the water now. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, man, once more. Bam. Thanks a lot. Thanks for yeah. coming. We saw just, we saw the fish just running down the stream and it was, you saw that it was a heavy fish. It was pumping and making long runs. And we were like, okay, it's going to be a really long, long fight. and. I think this was the moment of, of my lifetime in fishing. I think you need some warm tea. Ah, fuck off the warm tea, I want to have a beer right now. <laughs> <laughs> and the cold one! Yeah, cold beer. <laughs> Just the cold beer and the cigarette, sit down, looking at the river. <laughs> and thinking after one week salmon fishing. It's worth to come to Raisa Elva. It's really worth to come here. I would say now, for the next time, we know the river more and we can visit more pools, more interesting pools. And we know where are the best pools. And we will come back to Norway, to north of Norway, to fish for salmon for sure, because once you've been here, you are always coming back.